、歡迎各位。咁一陣間 CJ 會同我哋講幾句先嘅，講完之後咧，佢會接受大家提問。咁提問嘅時候，請講下你嘅機構同埋之後先，先嚟開始發問。唔該曬 CJ。誒、uh, 大家好，首先誒、uh, 新年快樂 ，Happy New Year to everybody、um,。首先我想多謝大家出席嘅我哋嘅一年一度嘅法律年度開啓典禮，誒、uh, 好高興有機會一年一次見你哋。誒、um, 去年啦，依家依年啦，我哋嘅法官咧處理唔少案件，有啲案件咧係比較爭議性嘅。誒、呃，無論呢啲係民事案或者係刑事案咧，點解係係爭議成咧？係因為好多呢啲案件咧係有、呃、政治啦，呃、有時係有啲經濟或者社會嘅原因嘅。好多即係今年咧，好多評論者係評論我哋嘅工作，呃、有啲係同意我哋嘅睇法，同意嘅判決。有啲唔同意嘅，我相信係唔同人有唔同嘅睇法，有時都有批評嘅。剛才你都聽我所講咧，啲人生嘅感激咧就好難接受嘅。即係如果係批評咧，應該有理據嘅、啊嗯。所以可以話我哋法官嘅工作咧，有時咧都唔係簡單嘅。但係無論有冇批評。或者有冇人贊我哋咧？嚇、啊、誒、啊，我哋都會係繼續係會誒、啊、為香港嘅服務。其實香港誒法官嘅使命咧，可以話係維護香港嘅法治，為香港嘅服務。其實我哋嘅挑戰咧，就係、是、其實可以希望社會誒、啊、會誒、嗯、支持我哋嘅工作啦，誒、啊、會對我哋有信心，會有信用。即如果係市民大眾咧，係可以係了解我哋嘅司法誒、嗯、制度咧，咁就大家都能夠可以誒瞭解我哋嘅香港嘅法治。我哋法治大家都知道咧，係香港嘅基石。但係瞭解誒、啊、香港嘅法治咧，最需要記得咧，就係、是、我哋有個獨立嘅司法機構。啊！依個係非常係重要嘅。九七年後咧，可以話嘅法律嘅環境有變嘅，即好多人係用法律咧係保障佢哋嘅權利同埋自由。法官咧履行佢哋嘅職責咧，係依法處理啲案件嘅。依、这個意思係咩咧？就係、是、處理案件咧，淨係。會處理啲有關嘅法律嘅問題，嚇、啊！我講咗好多次噶啦，係即係唔我哋唔會話決定社會嘅政治啲問題，或者啲經濟嘅問題，或者係社會嘅問題。誒、啊，同埋咧，大家都要記得咧，人人咧喺法律面前係平等嘅，嚇、啊！冇人可以凌駕上法律嗰度。我係好知道，就係、是、我明白，係社會對法官咧嘅要求係非常高，期望非常大。但係嘅要求同埋嘅期望係咩咧？就係、是、我哋處理啲案件咧，係依完全依法處理案件，淨係睇啲有關嘅法律嘅問題，嗯，啲適用嘅法律。我而家係做緊第九年咧，香港嘅首席法官噶啦。我仲記得咧，係八年前、九年前第一次同你哋見面咧，你哋問我嘅使命係乜嘢？我嘅使命咧，好簡單嚟講咧，都係維護香港嘅法治。依、这個咧，我會繼續到誒、呃、做嘅。有用英文講幾句啦嚇。So、uh, thank you for.、Uh, uh, Uh, attending this year's opening of the legal year,、uh, this past year has seen the Hong Kong judiciary deal with a number of cases, whether in the civil or criminal context, cases which are controversial. And these are controversial because the origins of these cases、uh, have 
are political, sometimes economic, sometimes social. A lot of commentators have made commentaries uh, on the work that we do. Sometimes the commentators agree with what uh, uh, they see, sometimes they don't agree. Different people obviously have different viewpoints. Sometimes there have been criticisms made uh, of the judiciary's work and of the way cases uh, have been decided. And, and this can't be helped. Now, some of those criticisms where there has been personal abuse leveled at judges, this, in my view, is unacceptable. There has to be some informed way in which criticisms are made and some justifications for it. So it can be said that um, the work of judges is, at times, not simple. But whether it's, whether criticisms or not, or whether praise uh, is given to the judiciary doesn't really matter because what judges do is to work for the benefit of the community. The mission of judges, if that's the right way of putting it, is to uphold the rule of law and to serve uh, the community. Our challenge really is that society understands the work we do, hopefully supports the work we do, understands uh, the legal system because only in understanding the legal system can there be a true understanding uh, of the rule of law in Hong Kong. Now, understanding the legal system requires, um, as the most basic principle, an appreciation uh, of the independence of the judiciary. Since 1997, there's been a change in the legal landscape. More people, for various reasons, have resorted to the law in order to enforce their rights uh, and liberties. Um, but as far as judges are concerned, and I've said this many times, judges are only looking at the legal merits of a case. Um, whoever wins or loses depends entirely on the legal arguments and the legal merits. The courts are not there to solve and determine social issues, economic issues, and certainly not political uh, issues. The expectations of society, expectations of the judiciary, uh, are great. And there are great expectations uh, of it. But what these really mean is that judges should really be deciding cases only looking at the law. Now, this is my ninth year as Chief Justice uh, of Hong Kong. Remember when I first met uh, ladies and gentlemen, that um, I was asked what my mission was. My mission remains what, it, what I said to you, which was my mission is to uphold the rule of law. And this I will continue to do. Thank you very much. <咳>都要需要就上的講的那個條例我就不應該講太多 但我要講到其他方面我就不評論了我們對我們司法機構來說是兩種儀式非常重要有國歌我覺得是應該的為什麼是重要呢是不是好像今天的典禮和宣誓的典禮儀式是強調我們的承諾對香港的法治
，所以係所有嗰啲係重要、重要嘅儀式嘅咧，有國歌咧，依、这個係我覺得係應該嘅。其他啲方面咧，咁就我就唔敢評論啦。Yes。Hello. The question to you, I, I'm from Reuters. Um, just regarding the CY Bird uh, incident, um, can you see any reason why overseas independent legal advice wasn't sought for this case? You, you mentioned during your speech the importance of society and the public um, hopefully supporting um, the work of the judiciary. And, uh, there have been uh, concerns raised, but perhaps there wasn't consistency of approach, of general principles re regarding uh, CY's case and uh, Donald Zhang's case, which, which did uh, enjoy the benefit of, of this uh, external advice. This is a question probably better directed at uh, other people. Um, uh, 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 the Department of Justice rather than the judiciary. The judiciary has no responsibility in terms of um, deciding on prosecutions, who to prosecute, what the methodology is, what the procedure would be. So uh, probably I'm not the person to ask and I can't help and nor in, in reality really should I comment in case somehow you know this, this matter progresses to a court hearing. But uh, uh, in terms of prosecution, it's not the responsibility of the uh, judiciary. But just in terms of the perception towards the, the rule of law as, as the, the guardian of, one of the guardians of the rule of law itself, mm -hmm. are you concerned at all? Well, it's nice to be called a guardian of the rule of law, but I'm not a guardian of prosecution policy. So I, I think um, uh, I would... Um, uh, not be the right person to comment on this particular aspect. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ma, Mr. Ma, two questions. Uh, ah, okay. What do you make of the uh, album for the Sunshine One Post? Uh, first question, what do you make <coughs> of the protest just now as you see directed to the Secretary of Justice? Is it your worry that it opens certain floodgates using this ceremony, uh, which I understand is not quite unlikely, but quite unprecedented for some kind of protest uh, to be taken at this occasion? My uh, question concerns with the... Uh, oh, can I answer your first? Otherwise, I'm going to forget what uh, your question is. Um, in relation to what has happened just now, again, I don't want to comment so much, except to say this. The purpose of the opening of the legal year is that we, everybody is gathered to talk about Hong Kong's legal system and to talk about Hong Kong uh, and the rule of law in Hong Kong. This is the concentration of all the speeches, as it always has been historically through the years, um, uh, rather than uh, a vehicle for anything else. I think that's all I want to say in relation to what has happened just now. I think everybody saw what happened just now uh, uh, in there. That's all I have to say in relation to that. I'll keep my second question short. Uh, in relation to the torture claim, uh, do you have any concrete proposals in mind? Because you are aware that the, that the executive has proposed a certain administrative amendment on the table. Are you thinking along that line, or are you thinking of reform on the uh, on the tribunal side? Or I mean, what, what what drives you other than the efficiency? Is there a concerns on the on the impact that it has on the constitutional uh, elements that Hong Kong has? Because a lot of these claims, when they raised to the high level courts, it often encroaches on the uh, constitutional elements. The uh, amendments which we have in mind, um, uh, well, I'm not myself entirely clear about what the administration's proposed amendments are. I, too, have read the papers uh, as, as you write them. Uh, but uh, what we have in mind, as I mentioned in my speech, are relatively minor changes, and these deal with court procedure. And we will be, I think we have started dialogue uh, with the Department of Justice, which is responsible for legislative amendments, but they are procedural amendments. And of course, uh, in relation, uh, as to any amendments which we propose, we'll be asking all relevant stakeholders, meaning law society, the bar, and everybody who's uh, affected. In relation to any constitutional implications, as, as a, well, 
uh, in relation to those, again, I'm not going to comment on this because um, uh, as with anything with a constitutional nature, it could end up uh, in court. But what I wanted to emphasize, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, in the speech was the proliferation of cases. Uh, the exact figures can be given to you by the Judiciary Administration, but just to give you a rough idea of the uh, increased workload uh, of the courts, is that in 2016, we're talking about judicial review, applications to judicial review. In 2016, there were roughly 60 applications for judicial review in relation to this type of claim. Two years later, 2018, that's last year, it had gone up to roughly 4,000. Sorry? Oh, sorry, 3,000, roughly 3,000, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, in relation, this is the court of first instance. Uh, in relation to appeals, in 2016, there was one appeal relating to a refusal of leave. Uh, and in 2018, it was nearly 200. Now, all these cases, I say, require care because you have to look at the legal issues. And um, as you said, Alvin, there may be constitutional uh, uh, implications as well. So um, that, that's a sort of figure. But for exact figures, perhaps you can contact um, the Judicial Administration, provide you with more accurate figures and more precise figures. Hello. Um criticism uh, and comment should be on an informed basis. So Look at the judgment. Application Yes. Great to worry about voices. In view of some of the tensions that you outlined in your speech, I wonder if you think that the time is right perhaps to restart democratic reform as a way of protecting in the longer term Hong Kong's rule of law. Well, I, I'm not going to get into a debate. Uh, I think you probably asked me a similar question last year. I'm not going to get into a debate about um, a, a political debate. Uh, I'm just looking at it from a narrow point of view of the law. 
uh, and um, uh, uh, not really my place to talk about a democratic debate, much as I guess a lot of people might want me to, uh, not really my place nor my, um, uh, uh, in my responsibilities as Chief Justice. Sorry. Hi. 關於於之後會讀阿斯卡的這個問題其實關於於之後會讀你都說點控不是你的責任工作 啊,呢個兩件事,就是他的高或者不高,檢控或者不檢控呢,呢個唔係司法機構的責任,即係譬如講如果佢哋檢控,我哋係冇得話係你唔應該檢控的,除非佢根本係冇理據,但係呢,如
uh, independence. I mentioned these qualities, which are in, uh, these characteristics, which we all need to bear in mind, which is we had an independent judiciary deciding cases independently. Everyone before the court is equal. These are principles uh, upon, sh uh, 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 upon which uh, the courts operate. Now, then we go on to, let's go into your question about the national anthem. Whether there exists a national anthem law or not, these abiding principles of how the courts operate, independently ensuring that everybody before the law is equal, that matters are decided according to law and not according to factors, whether political, economic, or social, won't change whether or not there's a national anthem law. And that's important to bear in mind as far as the judiciary is concerned. Now, you, you, you heard my answer, which was I'm not going to comment too much uh, on the national anthem law, first, because uh, it's not yet le uh, been passed. And secondly, there may be cases which uh, come up, not appropriate for me, for me to say too much. And of course, thirdly, I'm not going to comment on the national anthem law insofar as it's perceived by uh, uh, other people. Now then, it's within that context and that background to answer your question uh, about why uh, I certainly would think it is appropriate to have the national anthem and important ceremonies. You've heard the national anthem played uh, uh, not just this year, but every year uh, um, since 1997 and before 97, the national, well, the, 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 the um, UK national anthem uh, was played. Uh, uh, another important occasion for the judiciary is the swearing in of judges. These are important occasions where I think it is appropriate and right to have the national anthem to emphasize the importance of those, uh, uh, um, uh, the, these occasions. And why they are important, as I answered this gentleman, uh, is this, uh, that um, these are occasions in which the rule of law in Hong Kong, with which I am acutely concerned, uh, is dealt with. And it is important for me is to hope uh, that uh, members of the community will understand what the rule of law is about. These are therefore important occasions underlining the rule of law. The swearing in of judges is important because it is the judges who will uphold the rule of law. For these reasons, we take these occasions very seriously. And if the occasion the seriousness of the occasion is underlined by the playing of a national anthem, uh, which is common all over the world, then uh, I think it is appropriate and right. I make this co these comments from the point of view of what the judiciary does and the occasions, uh, the, 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 uh, the matters with which the judiciary are concerned. I'm not talking about you know, future cases. I'm not talking about... Um, uh, other contexts in which arises, in which the question arises, say, uh, in the Legislative Council or anything like that. Not my place to talk about it, but I'm talking purely about the judiciary. And second question, you said just now that you're acutely concerned about the rule of law in Hong Kong. And um, for, this is not the first year that you talk about public confidence in an independent judiciary in the rule of law. Do you see these two important um, core values in Hong Kong? Uh, deteriorating or public confidence um, going down these, these few years um, because of all the various controversies? Well, um, uh, I see a lot of, uh, this goes back to what I've been saying about comments made, criticisms made, uh, because in some quarters, many people will ask the question, what is the rule of law about in Hong Kong? And that is what I've been emphasizing uh, every year, so that people uh, in answer to that question, have an answer to that question in trying to understand uh, what our legal um, uh, system is. Uh, it's not a concern. It's, it's just that I want people to understand what our legal system is. It is important for me, it is important for the judiciary that there is confidence in the legal system. I don't mean by this that uh, judges are liked and for, for all I know judges are disliked. That doesn't matter. What matters is there's a confidence in the system. Why it is important is that we may have a great system, let's say. We may have a system which is admired by everybody around the world. But if the people who are affected by the system don't have confidence in the system, uh, then that um, is a cause for concern. Now, if the, if, 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 
it's because of ignorance and not knowing what the system is, then of course uh, I would want to do more to help people understand what the system is. I go back to uh, a question uh, which, which I pose rhetorically. Most people, uh, when they criticize judgments or praise judgments, uh, are asking really the question, why have the courts decided the way it has? Why has this judge done what he or she has done? Why have you convicted these people? Why have you not convicted these people? Uh, and so on and so forth. And the answer to that, because uh, there are a lot of theories which come up, oh, it may be political bias, it may be you've been influenced by some other factors or by people and so on. The answer always lies simply in reading the judgment. I know it is hard to read a judgment. It is far too long, but it is long for one reason. It is long because it is meant to show precisely and in detail each step which is relied on to reach a result and hoping then people will understand that what the court has done is to look at the law only as applied to the facts. And if the court has got that wrong, then it goes to one of the matters I've talked about just now. There is an appeal system going to the Court of Appeal uh, or, uh, and ultimately to the Court of Final Appeal. I want the public to understand uh, the system. Um, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not quite right to put it, uh, the question in the terms you have, uh, because I'm going to answer it on the basis that there are, of course, many comments one sees uh, from people on the internet, sometimes in the newspapers. Uh, sometimes these comments are well informed, and, and that is good because everybody has the freedom of speech and it is right that people do comment on the system. Whether in a negative way or in a positive way doesn't matter. It is good that people take a, an interest in the system. And indeed, criticism is good uh, when it is constructive. It is not good when it is not informed. And, and still less is it good or acceptable if it's just sheer abuse. Hmm? Hey, Nian. Yeah. Tai 我以為我會聽過,就是黑人比的話,我們知道我相信可能我們知道你是講的什麼incident呢,你知道我們溝通? That sounds like uh, you know one of the cases that may come up before the courts, and for that reason, it's not really convenient for you to answer this without, uh, obviously. I think you understand why I don't make a comment on on what is a sensible question if it is something which may come up before the courts. It wouldn't be right for me to give a view, a legal view, uh, on it. Um, it's a relevant question. Uh, pl please understand that, but not really convenient for you to answer it for that reason. Hi. 
上嘅人咧，就並非全部都係中國人啦，亦都有好多位誒嗰啲係翻嚟，或者係打工。即係海外嗰啲，即係係。就我答邊個先啦嚇？誒國歌咧就係大家要尊重。如果你唔識唱咧嚇，因為你唔識嘅字咧，咁就冇辦法啦，冇人可以逼你咁樣誒做噶啦。但係咧誒，你 raise 一個好嘅 point 咧，就係、是、誒、嗯，我哋係當然有海外嘅誒法官，有啲係本地嘅法官，但對我哋嚟講咧，我哋唔會係分嘅嚇。其實我哋講誒有香港嘅法官，其實嗰個誓言咧，那個 judicial oath 咧，係一式係一樣。啊，所以我哋唔會分嘅，啊，所以就算有啲係海外，當然係有海外嘅咧，有啲係本地嘅咧，佢哋係一樣，都係啊，我哋叫香港嘅法官。嗯。咁但係如果而家喺 Oath 嗰度都有分別啦，咁啊，他人講宣誓都要過過，咁你覺得嗰個處理方法係咪都有都有誒分別咁樣？咁就冇分別嘅，如果有過過，咁就係就算你海外嘅法官、本地法官一樣啫。你嘅問題就係，如果係唱咧，如果你想唱咧，如果如果你唔識字，咁你冇法子點唱唔到噶啦，係咪？想問翻，即係頭先都提過，即係嚟緊都有嗰個法官退休嗰個誒議案咧，即係嚟緊都會通過。係。咁但係其實係咪希望通過？希望通過啦，但係係咪仍如果若果通過到啦，或者即係係 as 你哋 expect， 係咪都係會會點樣去加爆處理都？即係咩嗰啲案件啊？咩案件？係。即係如果可以係誒、嗯，即係 extend 嗰個退休嘅年齡咧，你就希望鼓勵多啲係有質素嘅律師，咁啊可以加入嘅司法機構噶啦。因為而家咧，好似你而家係嗰個退休年齡係六十五。六十五咧，如果你到咗六十歲嘅，諗我我仲有五年咧，你未必想申請，即係加入司法機構。如果係到七十歲咧，多啲人，夠質素、夠經驗嘅律師咧，就會誒申請誒入司法機構噶啦。嚇嚇，同埋咧誒，唔使咁早退休咧，咁我哋多啲即係可以法官可以留喺度，即係。我哋最後留呢條問題啊。哦。啊、另外就係、是、即係會唔會誒、嗯，即係好多時候佢哋會覺得即係 DOJ 係有無限，即係佢哋用公堂咁樣去告，會唔會覺得係即係同普通嘅市民，即係佢哋係擺喺一個即係唔平等嘅關係上 ？DOJ 係有咁樣嘅權，佢哋檢控或者唔檢控。嗯、如果佢哋係濫用咧，咁嘅可能咧就係、是。<咳> Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. 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 So, 我以為就同你傾緊，冇意思嚇。誒、啊，係、啊，嗯，即係司法機構唔係控制，唔可以控制誒 DOJ 係檢控、檢控或者唔檢控噶啦嚇。基本法例我都唔記得係第幾條，六十幾條誒係佢哋控制嘅。嗯、啊、誒、啊，如果佢濫用咧，可能係有個有個法律嘅問題，我唔知嚇。第、啊、一，我冇嚟控制嘅。That is a philosophical question, uh, um, but I'm really here just to answer legal questions. Uh, 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 what a lot of cases have held. Uh, decided by the CFA and other courts, is that the freedom of speech is valuable. Uh, it is an important right. It is not uh, a right with without limits. It's bound to have limits. Uh, the right itself, as stated in the Basic Law and the Bill of Rights, has inbuilt limits, such as you're not free to defame people, 
or, or to, to, to um, uh, go overboard. But um, what I can say, because this is what a lot of cases have said, is that uh, the freedom of speech is important and the freedom of the press is important. These are what cases have said. And in terms of playing a role in protecting the movement? Well, I mean, the courts are there to protect people's rights and freedoms. Uh, it's easy to say that. Sometimes the determination is not easy because there are many factors uh, which have to be taken into account, many legal factors which pull in different directions. And that's what makes dis determining such cases uh, difficult. Mr. Martin, you have called for, in this year, you have called for the public to have confidence in the judiciary, which traditionally has always been the case. Uh, one of the source of tension, if, I, if you reconcile, is that the state, the PRC, has more and more been active and corrective and even been vocal of using some of the powers, including the um, interpretation that um, is on this court. Do, is it your position that how do we resolve and how do we handle this MPCSE's power, a like free sentence power, including some of the cases? And is there a way to properly constrain these powers so that the court, for, for instance, in some of the recent judgment, that there's a way to see forward that to, uh, to um, reinstate people's faith in this court, in the judiciary? Since this is the last question, I'll give you a longish answer, which is this. The powers of interpretation uh, of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress is contained, of course, as you know, in the Basic Law, Article 158. The Court of Final Appeal has had several decisions which have dealt with the power, uh, this power of the Standing Committee. Uh, I can name you a few which you know already. Um, Lao Gong Yong is one, Zhong Fang Yun is another. The um, Vallejos case is yet another a more recent statement of those powers. Um, uh, so it is perfectly within their power to um, interpret the law. Now, turning to um, the role of the courts, the courts look at matters of law, looks at um, uh, interpretations from a legal perspective. Now. Again, I'm not going to say too much because there are a number of cases which will end up, uh, which already are in the courts, which may well end up in the uh, Court of Final Appeal at some stage. Uh, and these cases you already know about, co-location cases and other cases um, in, in which one has to consider a number of difficult areas. Now, here, um, uh, uh, Obviously, I'm not going to comment on the content, but what I will say is this. The courts will deal with it, as it deals with any other case, carefully and in full accordance with the law. I'm not saying, it, it, I say this a lot. It doesn't mean it's easy. Sometimes it's extremely hard, and sometimes the result may not be to everybody's liking. In fact, I'm pretty sure that in terms of any case, uh, um, a good half will not like it, whereas half may. Sometimes, uh, which happened a year ago, um, everybody dislikes it. But that doesn't matter as far as judges and the courts are concerned. We adhere to principle, and that's what I hope uh, the public understands to be the role of the courts, to adhere to principle, and in particular, legal principle. Anyway. Oh, okay. Okay, well, th thank everybody, and um, see you again. Thank you very much.